Alongside Katie Windham, I'm Austin Hannon, and this is Bama Central's instant analysis of Alabama's 49-21 to victory over the Kentucky Wildcats here at Kroger Field. We, where we are now, it is cold. Katie's wearing gloves. You can't see it. There they are. Um, and then just kind of a – this was just kind of a big just – I don't even know how to explain it. They come on the road. It's a little bit of a trap game. Um, in Alabama, it's, there's a little bit of questions. People, there's they're missing players today. Um, and then they just kind of came out and – dominated from the start they, they had a couple hiccups there uh, in the game but for the most part I mean they, they kind of asserted their dominance on Kentucky um, and, and just kind of continued to show that they can grow each and every week uh, regardless of the opponent regardless of the stakes whether it's LSU Tennessee Kentucky um, and then next week we'll have to see how they handle the challenge of playing a team like Chattanooga when um, you know nobody really outside of the team and the coaches and, and maybe us really cares about the game but um, just your, you wrote about Jalen Miller tonight um, He's taking just – we talk about it every week on this, but every week it's another step forward. He didn't get sacked today, which was helpful. I wrote about that. Uh, just your overall takeaways of his performance and what Alabama was able to do to win the West. Yeah, well, if you talk to him like we did after the game or if you go watch the video on Bama Central's YouTube, you'll see that he was not happy with his performance. Obviously, he had the one interception. Um, but really his completion percentage was high again. He didn't get sacked. He had six touchdowns. It's hard to be disappointed with that. And I think really Terry on Arnold put it best talking to him in the post game, who's really close with Jalen, who obviously goes against him at practice. And someone asked Terry on kind of what's the difference in Jalen? He literally just said, run. He's been running the ball. He said he's probably the fastest person on the team. And Terry on kind of joked. He said, he's probably the fastest except for me or Isaiah Bond. He was joking. But I mean, he may be the fastest person on the team. I and think um, I think it's helped that Tommy Reese has designed more runs for him. But also I think it's helped that he's made better decisions. He didn't get sacked today. We saw him throw the ball away at times. He's seen when the receivers aren't open, he takes what the defense is giving him. He didn't finish with a huge rushing total today, um, but he took what the defense gave him. He came out strong, which has been a huge issue for Alabama this year, and I think it was big for this team today in a potential trap game, in an early game, in a colder environment. Um, They came out and kind of set the tone, and that's what they did. And I think we saw today what we're used to seeing from Alabama saving coach teams in the past on the road, and Saban talked about this in the post game of, clearing out the stadium. You look up at the end, he said some players came up to him and said stuff about him about it. You look up at the end and there's not a lot of people left because that's how dominant Alabama was today. But of course, there are things they can improve upon. But I think this is a great road performance for them with your only road game left being at Auburn, which has been um, obviously a tough place for Alabama under Saban. Yeah, we didn't mention the defense. Defense was great again. You'll, you'll look at the scoreboard and the stat sheet. It says 21 points, but Kentucky did not really have much going on offense. Uh, which they've kind of gotten accustomed to the last few weeks. Uh, yeah, just another win. They're going to the SEC Championship. They missed out on it last year that they will be back in Atlanta this year. So all things are right for Alabama fans. Um, so for Katie Wendham, I'm Austin Hannon. We'll see you next week for Alabama and Chattanooga at Brian Denny Stadium. Thanks so much for watching.